Collecting records can be a really fun hobby. And maybe because you're watching this video, you have started the hobby of collecting records and or vinyl. And maybe you'd like to see the kind of stuff that you'll find when you go to a thrift store or antique mall or some other place where vinyl happens to hang out. So I just wanted to show you some of my most recent finds at thrift stores. And then I'm going to show you a product that you can use to uh, not really clean the records, but dust them. So um, I have another video where I show you how to find and inspect vinyl before you buy it. But uh, And you can watch that video on my channel. But this one, we're just going to show you how to, uh, how to, how to dust your vinyl. And a lot of times you don't need to scrub or clean or wash your records before you play them. A lot of times they're good right out of the package, ready for you to enjoy. But sometimes you might see some dust and some particles and uh, that sort of thing. So I'm going to show you a product that you can use that's very good for that. So here's what I found recently. Uh, it is uh, around Christmas time when this video was made. So I happened to find this Christmas spectacular Aeolian Pipe organ record and uh, somebody originally paid $2.99 for it but uh, it's in really good condition very very nice clean vinyl there but you can see there's a little bit of dust on the surface all right so we'll see if we can get get rid of that here is a, a carpenter's record and I'm sure that uh, you've heard um, Karen Carpenter on the radio because she sings uh, Merry Christmas Darling. I think that's probably their most famous Christmas song, at least the one I've heard of. But uh, here's the Carpenters and Old Fashioned Christmas. Originally paid for uh, $5.97 at Kmart. So there you go. And there is the record that it's on. It's an A&M record. The next one I found was uh, 1961 Academy Award winner Moon River Lawrence Welk. So this is kind of a big band, swing band kind of music. And um, the reason I got it is, is because it said this, Dot Ultra Stereophonic Recording. So uh, I thought, wow, you know, it's, it's ultra high fidelity. It's got to be really spectacular. So... Uh, I did take a listen to it, and it wasn't quite, you know, mind-blowing by any means, but uh, it was all right. Uh, this is a nice, clean record for its uh, time period. This looks like it probably came out in the 60s, but um, it was always cool on these old records because a lot of times they would tell you that... Uh, you know, the, the purposes or, or, or the tools that they use to record the uh, the album. So they'll tell you like what microphones they used and, you know, whether they mastered it to a tape or sometimes 35 millimeter film, crazy stuff like that. This one is a really <laughs> unusual and I, I just cracked up and had to get this. This is uh, Beauty, Glamour and Personality with her Holiday Magic Informative Cosmetics, facial exercises and massage routines for skin beauty that help hold back the signs of lines and age. Narration by Ern Westmore, Dean of the Hollywood Makeup Artists. And down at the bottom it quotes, There isn't a woman in the world who cannot be made to look more beautiful. Wow. Now, Interestingly enough, uh, somebody paid $3.95 for this, but uh, this is on blue vinyl. See that? Got us some blue vinyl there. Holiday magic. Facial exercises and massage routines for skin beauty. I did listen to a little bit of it, and uh, I didn't listen to it long enough to know how these facial exercises are described on the record. But uh, look inside this thing. You've got this woman. Well, first you get like a diagram of her muscles in her face. And then we go across here and you see all the different exercises you can do with your face to obtain this outstanding beauty. See there? 
so yeah there's a it's it's you know there's a, there's a facial expression for every uh uh every muscle in your face and by exercising all of those muscles in your face you are going to become more beautiful and uh, there's even some neck exercises down there at the bottom going across there so um i'm guessing this came out probably in the 50s i don't see a date on it anywhere well here's a roman numeral date down here at the bottom i'm not so good with roman numerals but uh here camera focus on that there we go so there's the date right there so uh yeah you know uh nothing like a little holiday magic which comes from doing facial exercises unbelievable and this guy right here is the genius on this record telling you uh, what you need to do to uh, to be beautiful and uh, he describes this woman's picture on the front and saying that she's not an ordinary uh, I mean she is an ordinary person she's not uh, a movie star or anything but look how glamorous and beautiful she looks because she does facial exercises okay anyway moving on uh, empty cover there all right, so, you know, let's zoom up to the 70s here and uh, let's disco, shall we? So, nothing like a full-length instructional record featuring the voice of a disco instructor who guides you through the basics of disco dancing step-by-step. -step. Original full-length disco hits by KC and the Sunshine Band, Peter Brown, Foxy, and T Connection. And there is a supplemental book that is supposed to go inside the front cover here. Uh, and of course that is gone, not here. Let's see, look down inside there. No, not in there. So we missed out on the, uh, you know, I guess the instructionals to show you how to, uh, what moves to make. So in any case on the record, he just kind of walks you through like, I don't know, Step, left, step, right, step, up, forward, step, left, step, right, step, jump, flip, back. You know, you got the idea. So, uh, pretty hilarious record here as well. And uh, it's in pretty good shape. It's on the KTEL level, label. And KTEL made a lot of records that what I, I would call probably the first MP3 discs because they what they would do is they would compress the audio down to minimum fidelity so that they could fit more songs onto a record so they used a you know a thinner groove and very low fidelity so that way the grooves didn't smash into each other and uh, so they they really sound flat a lot of these KTEL records but they get a lot of songs on them so sometimes you can find a disc that has you know probably 24 songs on it, something like that, which is highly unusual. Your usual is like five songs per side at high fidelity. So there's uh, there's some examples of uh, some exciting records that you'll find, or types of records that you'll find at your thrift store. So let's go back to this one, the Aeolian type organ. And here's what I bought from Amazon to clean these awesome records with. And this is the RCA disc washer and I want to highlight that name disc washer because that's a company that's been around a long time and I don't know if uh, that company still exists or they're just using the name but uh, this guy right here this part here is a fantastic way to dust your records off without getting them wet now this comes with cl uh, cleaning fluid but I don't recommend you use it because it's alcohol and I've I'm pretty sure that alcohol is not a good thing for vinyl, so I'm not sure why it's in here. I could be wrong about that. Alcohol may be wonderful for vinyl, but I don't use alcohol in vinyl. I've seen it uh, turn the vinyl a white, whitish color, discolor it. So in this kit, you get this guy here, the, uh, the actual uh, nice smooth felt material to... Uh, to to dust the record off with. You get a little dust cover, you get this little tiny brush, which um, I'm not sure what that's used for. I guess maybe you just wanna 
sweep the disc a little bit, you know, with the little pity, um, the little uh, broom there. But um, no, that's. This is really all I wanted out of this kit was this part right here, because this is great. So what you want to do is if you buy one of these, and let's say you have a record that you get from someplace, and you see some dust on it. Let's see if I can get it to show up on the camera here. Everybody made fun of me because the last record, uh, well, on the record, on the sh on the video that I made showing you my turntable and how to care for records, my turntable was really ridiculously dusty, and of course my camera light just emphasized that. So let's see here, are we seeing some dust on here? There we go. All right, so you see those dust particles showing up on there, and if you can't see them, you will definitely hear them as the needle hits them uh, on the record. So what you want to do is notice how I'm holding this record. This is the proper way to hold a record. You want to hold it with your fingers on the label and the edge of your thumb there on the side so that you're not touching and putting nasty chemicals from your hands on the record. So what you want to do is take this guy and we're just going to rub it across here in a circular motion and we'll kind of pick up where we left off over on this side and go in the direction of the grooves. You can still see that dust particle there right, right by my thumb. So let's go over that one. Let's see if we can take that off. And there it goes. All right. Probably not the recommended way to go against the grooves, but sometimes you may need to just to get that dust off of there. This uh, brush is soft enough. It's not going to scratch this record up. You know what that brush might be for is to brush this off after you um, after you get the dust off the record. You know, just take that little thin brush and just brush this this guy off with that. Come to think of it. Alright, so uh, I can still see some dust in there. Let me show you how it's gathering on there. See that line right there? So, yep, so it is definitely sweeping this record of dust, which is something we could not really see until we started sweeping it. And there you can see it. It's just, there's just a huge line of dust right there on this record. So this record would be very crackly sounding as you played it. Now, the thing is with this is if you have cleaned it with this brush and you're still getting a ton of dust particles off of it, it may need to be washed and you can watch my other video where I show you how to just wash it in the sink with some good old dishwashing detergent all right so you get the idea this is how you uh, how you dust off your record and sometimes it's it's good to just dust it off and other times it's 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 better to wash it depending on how bad it is people get boogers on their records or they you know they're eating pizza and drip cheese on it or something you know got to get that stuff off of there and you can still see that line of dust right there so this one very well could use a good washing all right well guys i appreciate your support share this video with somebody that uh that perhaps you know that uh collects vinyl and needs some tips i do recommend the rca vinyl record care system from um, from Amazon. You can find it on your at Amazon or your favorite record store and uh, take care of your records. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment down below. Have a good day.